Welcome to the SRAM RED ETAP HRD Hose Shortening and Bleed Guide. You will need common bicycle maintenance tools, as well as some specialty tools and supplies. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below, or go to sram.com forward slash service for more information. To skip directly to the bleed procedure, click this link. Otherwise, continue watching for both hose shortening and bleed instructions. Fold the hood cover forward. Use an 8mm flare nut wrench on the compression nut and a 10mm open end wrench on the valve body to loosen and remove the compression nut and hose. Hold the hose to the shift brake lever with a length that creates a gentle bend in the hose and allows the handlebar to freely turn from side to side. Mark the cut location. Then use a SRAM hydraulic hose cutter to cut the excess hose at the lever. Do not cut the hose at the caliper. Cutting the hose introduces air into the brake system. You must bleed the brakes to ensure optimal braking performance. A small amount of dot fluid may drip from the hose when it is cut. This is normal. Immediately clean any dot fluid that comes in contact with painted surfaces with water and a rag. Apply dot compatible grease to the hose barb threads. Use a T8 Torx wrench to thread the Stealthamajig hose barb onto the hose until it is flush with the end of the hose. Do not over tighten the hose barb. Over tightening may cause damage to the hose liner. Thread the compression fitting over the hose barb counterclockwise until it is flush or slightly lower than the hose barb. The compression fitting is reverse threaded. Apply dot compatible grease to the compression fitting and the compression nut. Install the hose into the valve body while threading the compression nut by hand. Use a 10 mm open end wrench to hold the valve body in place and use an 8 mm flare nut wrench to thread the compression nut into the valve body. Use a torque wrench and an 8mm crowfoot wrench to tighten the compression nut. Fold the hood cover back. To assemble a syringe for the shifter brake lever, thread the bleed clamp assembly onto one of the syringes. Fill the syringe 3 quarters full with dot fluid. Hold the syringe upright, cover the tip with a rag and depress the plunger just enough to remove any air bubbles. The syringe should still be close to three quarters full. Close the clamp on the syringe. To assemble a syringe for the brake caliper, thread the bleeding edge tool onto the other syringe. Fill the syringe for the brake caliper with a small amount of dot fluid. Hold the syringe upright, cover the tip with a rag, and depress the plunger just enough to remove any air bubbles. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Do not allow dot fluid to come into contact with brake pads or rotors. Contaminated brake pads or rotors can diminish brake performance. Fold the shifter hood cover back. Use a 5mm hex wrench to rotate the contact adjust counterclockwise until it stops. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw from the lever. A small amount of fluid will come out of the bleed port. Immediately clean any dot fluid that drips with water and a rag. Thread the 3 quarters full syringe into the shifter brake lever bleed port. Remove the E-clip from the caliper. Use a 2.5 mm hex wrench to remove the pad retainer bolt. Remove the pads from the caliper. Install a bleed block into the caliper. Then reinstall the pad retainer bolt. Remove the bleed port cover. Use a 4 mm hex wrench to loosen the bleed port valve one quarter turn, then gently retighten the bleed port. Push the syringe with the bleeding edge tool attachment into the bleed port until you hear and feel it click into place. Rotate the bleeding edge tool attachment counterclockwise one complete rotation to open the system. Open the clamp on the syringe at the brake lever. Hold the syringe vertically and gently push the plunger down, stopping before air enters the syringe hose. 
fluid will fill the syringe at the brake caliper. If the fluid in the syringe at the caliper is discolored, push all of the fluid out of the system. Restart the bleed procedure with new fluid in both syringes. Hold the syringe at the caliper vertically while slowly pulling the plunger at the lever upward to draw fluid from the syringe at the caliper. Stop before air enters the syringe hose at the caliper. Repeat these steps of transferring fluid from one syringe to the other until only a small amount of bubbles appear in the syringes. Rotate the bleeding edge tool attachment clockwise until it stops to close the system. Squeeze and release the lever blade. Hold the syringe at the lever vertically. Firmly pull up on the plunger to create a vacuum. Then compress the plunger to pressurize the system. Repeat these steps several times until only a small amount of bubbles exit the system. Compress and release the plunger once more to equalize the system. Remove the syringe at the lever from the bleed port. Clean any dot fluid that drips from the bleed port with water and a rag. Use a T10 Torx wrench to tighten the bleed screw. Then use a torque wrench and a T10 Torx bit socket to tighten the bleed screw. Wipe away any dot fluid that drips from the bleed port with water and a rag. To remove the syringe with the bleeding edge tool, pull straight back from the caliper. Do not rotate the bleeding edge tool while removing. Use a torque wrench and a 4mm hex bit socket to tighten the bleed port. Reinstall the rubber cover into the bleed port. Spray water on the brakes and clean them with a rag. Remove the pad retainer bolt and remove the bleed block. Reinstall the brake pads into the caliper. Then reinstall the pad retainer bolt and the e-clip. Reinstall the wheel according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Squeeze and release the lever blade three times to advance the caliper pistons. On the first squeeze, the blade will come to the bar while the pistons advance. This is normal. This concludes the hose shortening and bleed procedure for SRAM RED ETAP HRD brakes.